Welcome, my friend, to planet Earth. More specifically, Croatia. A bit more specifically, Slaven Balupo. Now, I had a little think about what I, what places... The dog's chewing a bottle at the moment. And apologies for the noise. Um, I thought about places that I actually know in Croatia. And I came up with Zagreb. Yeah, so let's have a look where we are. So there's Croatia, we're zooming in. It's a funny shaped country. Freya, can you stop that please? Freya, can I have it? Freya, can I have it please? Thank you, that's a lovely gift. <clears throat> you can have it back after. All right, once you've done your own much. Right, okay, so there's our grab. So we are not in the capital city. Okay, we're zooming in. I love this bit, I love this bit. Okay, there's our town, city. Uh, Copriv, Copriv, I can't say it. Koprivnica seems to be the town because that's the sort of official long name of the club. Okay, lots of farming, a lot of arable. Right, where's the stadium? Oh, I see it. I see it. Okay, is I'm not sure. If, have we got a stand? So is it three thousand seater in the game, all seated? Okay, is it fake grass? Got a big housing estate. Should be easy to find a house. Anyway, that's nice. We've got the uh, trog, the shopping centre. Shopping. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, Google, saving me there uh, from having to pronounce that. And this place here. Ah, oh, the Slogger Podravska. Excellent. Oh, lucky. Glad one of those is nearby. So we have a big tr train uh, ground. We've got. Little five-side pitch there. There seems to be another football pitch. Looks kind of artificial, but we've got a proper stand, boys. Let's have a look at the old stadium. Hey! Not the most modern. I, I'll give you that, but it's clean. It does the job. It's a decent stand. If I could, Oh, just buy that house. I'll have a word. I'll pop in afterwards. So that looks like a shop. That sells sticks. Oh, yeah, the old Croatian stick shop. Classic. Right, okay. So where's the main entrance? There we go. Decent floodlights. So that seems to be the main entrance, I think. Um, that, is that the ticket office? That sounds like somebody's parked a shed there. <laughs> that seems quite random. Right. It's a small one-bedroom apartment. We've got a long building. Is that is that ours? I'm assuming that's ours. We, we say that's where we warm up and stuff. It's a nice area, though. It's beautiful. Sunny day. Lovely. Oh, there's the Euro Herc. Euro Hire. It's like I'm fluent already. I said it because it looks a bit like a hire car place. It's probably not. Um, right. Oh, so, hang on. There's, hang on. We've got a calf. Look, uh, cafe bar boy, <laughs> typo. Oh, those Croatians. Right, <clears throat> whenever I make those jokes, I always think people think I actually, it's like, oh, they spelled stadium wrong because they call it stadion. I know other languages exist. Okay, so what? Oh, that's a restaurant. Nice. The old Stacklin Jack. Love that. Yes, top, top, top place that. Right, let's have a wander around. Can we see more of the stadium? Oh, what's on? What's on at the cinema? Or what not? Chladno Pivo. Excellent. Are they a band? They look like a band, don't they? Looks like folk music. Um, any Croatians? Let me know. <clears throat> Another restaurant ad. Hang on, is that a big dome? Have we got like a indoor training facility? Or is that just the world's largest bouncy castle? Either way, that's decent. Is that... Oh, so that's there being probably built or something. Okay, can we see the ground? If we buy one of these houses, you know, basically backs onto the stadium. Don't I don't even have to get out of bed to manage the team. I can just point out the window and shout stuff. This could be the dream. Ah, oh, Mercator. Lovely. Looks like a really lovely area. I'm hopefully buying a house in a year's time. I might... I might pop over. Is that another stick shop? Ah, oh, is that what she in? Ice cream? No, it's a drink, like an orange juice. Hospice. It's a vitamin-based juice drink. 
<laughs> Just call me Sherlock fucking Holmes, lads. Okay. Recycle. Is that bins and stuff? Yeah, look, different recycling bins and stuff. It's a beautiful area. I'll take that, boys. And it's, it, although it's, you know, not the big city living, it's not a million miles away from Zagreb. I don't really know. That, that could be an hour or five hours. All right, beautiful. Lovely place of the world. I'll take it. Although I'm not, I think it might be an artificial pitch. It doesn't from that angle look like. No, I'm looking at the wrong fucking thing. <laughs> Let's just move on now. Right, beautiful. You're all probably wondering, how much did I sell the next Virgil van Dijk for? Oh, you just have to wait until after the intro. <laughs> Which I probably will forget to update in the next five episodes. Greetings and salutations, my friends. Welcome back to The Journeyman. Done some transfers. Very, very happy with the... Tra I'm delighted with the transfers we made. Uh, just a quick check-up. We now have a Continental B licence. So one more to go, but they they say I'm needed in training. Little do they know. But I'm a man-managing, motivating machine, my friends. I can't do anything else, but that's I'm good at that. So, finances. 352k in debt. Hey, look, to be fair, they gave me two and a half million. I've only spent a million. N nearly all of which on one player. <laughs> but look at the wage budget. Look what I've done. I've worked some magic, lads. We got rid of so much of the dead wood. We were on almost 40k and we've gone down to 26k. That is absolutely delightful. And yes, yes, he is still here. Where is he? I've lost him. Oh, I've got to scroll up. He is still here, right? So... I started getting a few offers, 400, 500k. And I was like, no, 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 no. That's not, I'd rather have him for a season and he helps us get promoted and then you can have him for free, right? And then it started tickling up a bit. But most clubs were offering 500k around that map, maybe 600k and stuff. And then a couple of cu clubs, can't remember who it was, sort of went 800k. And credit to the board, I'm amazed with the bank account that we have that they didn't sell at any point. They... The one club that was coming in for for it was it went up. The last bid they did was two point two million. And yes, I know logically, year left on his contract, won't sign a new contract. Probably should have sold him, but I'm going to win his heart, my friends, and he's going to sign a new contract. Okay, not yet because he's still unhappy. But look, I've done everything I possibly can. Okay, so he wants to leave. Okay. He's struggling to connect with Mile Birius, Birus, and I was immediately like, okay, I'm selling that dude. I don't care how good he is, I'm selling him. If he doesn't like him, he's getting sold, right? I'm sucking up to him big time. Until then, I discovered that was the striker that I spent all my money on, so that just sort it out. So he's pleased because it's a highly influential player, because we had a chat, because <clears throat> he... what. He didn't. He didn't go nuts about all the bids, and and but after about ten bids and one big one, he was like, "Look, I want to leave." And I was like, "But you're highly influential," or or, and he was like, "You know what? You're right, boss." So that worked. Um, the support for the manager is good, right? And and deserved. He's pleased with training. Okay, he's happy that he's got a dedicated coach for tactical defending training. Feels like that dude is an influential player. I'm already. Right, on his favoured personnel. I've, <laughs> I've wrangled me way in. So, I reckon there's a small chance that once he gets over the fact we've been relegated, which is usually a few months, he might sign a new contract. Because the good thing is, he's on terrible money at the moment. So, I can just show him two, three thousand pounds a week. And he's he's, he's got to take that. And he's got to take that. Right, but we, we will see the ongoing saga of Virgil van Dijk version 2.0 so as i said finances aren't great but we're spending less money so we should minus 2.8 million at the end of the season right okay let's move on so <clears throat> we'll look at the outs first as you can see i've got rid of a lot of people there was a lot of dead wood um 1.2 million pounds worth in sales lots of freebies lots of just small small amounts and stuff uh zerdin went for 110k uh 
Unfortunately, my second best centre-back, I didn't realise, had a 600k release clause. So that was a little bit annoying, but we've replaced him. And then Juricic, who was the other good player, left midfield. I had a bit of a problem with this. Asked to leave and was annoyed that I turned down transfer offers. And I said, look, you're staying, mate. Suck it up. Then the team then called a team meeting, including my superstar wonder kid, um, to say that we should let him go. So obviously I can't say no to him. Right? I can't say no. So I was like, okay, I'll let him go. And then, so he was happy. Team were happy. I offered him for half a million or whatever. We had a couple of offers of like 250. His value was 115K. A couple of offers of like 200, 250K. I accepted. Jobs are good and bish bash bosh. And then the board blocked it and said that they wouldn't ex uh, let any him go for any less than £425,000. So, and I, I tried to persuade them, but they weren't having it. So that cancelled the deal. He then complained because I didn't sell him. <laughs> and there was no option to say, it wasn't fucking me. Go speak to the board. But luckily, as he was transfer listed for a while, the bid started going up and we actually sold him for exactly £425,000. It looks well dodgy, but that's what we did. So, uh, <clears throat> sad to see him go. I wanted to keep him around because he's a really pacey individual, but, uh, you know, doesn't want a beer, doesn't want a beer, apart from if you're that good that I'll make you stay and pin you down. Uh, but we also recouped some of the money we spent as well from from our transfer shenanigans. So, got rid of all these players, plus a bunch of release players. Um, there you go. Absolute slew of players, if you will. So, first off, first player we got in, striker. That was the big one. We said needed a, a goal getter. And I've signed Mile Beerus. From a Dynamo Zagreb for eight hundred and twenty-five thousand pounds, going up to one point seven million if he like plays fifty games, scores fifty goals, plays twenty times for the international, and all that sort of stuff, right? Uh, but he's damn good, especially in the, in the second division. He's only twenty years old. He's got five under twenty-one caps. He's an absolute beastie. Not the best in the air. I would have liked him to maybe add double figures and jump in reach and stuff, but. Still a sensational player. And, and by far, after scouting around and stuff, he was by far the best I could get. So I was delighted. He's on 2K um, a week, but he's got a three-year deal. Very, very happy. Um, unless he really falls out with a centre-back and then he'll be immediately sold. Uh, <laughs> <clears throat> so that was our big spenders. That was our big deal that we made. Oh, oh, oh having, a, having a man. And then we've got uh, Anti Morrow from Split, 135k. He's our new left back. He's only 17. <clears throat> really, str again, struggled to find a left back. So I was quite happy with him. We've got a couple of decent left backs. I'll give him some game time. We've got another one that's decent. I didn't find any worldy players. But as a 17 year old, this guy, because we've got decent facilities now. So we might actually be able to improve players as opposed to making them terrible at football. So very excited for Morrow. <clears throat> Next up, we have Ivan Rozic, who is our new goalkeeper on a free from Lokomotiva. And he's an absolute beast. 23-year-old Croatian. He's on big money, but he's four-star current ability, five-star potential, solid all-rounder. Um, his distribution is even okay as well. Good handling ability and stuff. Like, I was, I was absolutely, I found him early on, absolutely delighted. So they're in the top division. And he, and he played a bunch of games. So I'm surprised. Maybe he didn't want to sign a new contract. Um, maybe they just got somebody better in and he thought he was being replaced. Who knows? But I was like, yeah, gobble, gobble, gobble. Next up, we've got Matteo Bogdan. Not the, don't have Liverpool fans. Not the goalkeeper. Okay, that's Adam. Another one from Split on a freebie. And he is our new... <laughs> Ungonch. <laughs> Because I don't, there was no tactical reason why I've decided to go for a four four a four four one one with an engrange, but I like saying it, so I did it. Uh, very good, another good youngster, twenty one years old, four and a half star potential. He might not quite make that levels, but he's suit well suited for the role. He's a natural engrange, so that's good. Old boggers. Next up, we have Sasa Marinkovic from Hadrick Split on a loan deal. He's our new replacement for that guy that. Had we had all the fuss about the left winger or the pacey dude. Um, again, pretty pacey, good acceleration, good all-rounder. Can play up top in a pinch if needed. 19 years old, only paying £1,000 a week, which is 
pretty decent for that level. Very happy. Next up, we signed another player raiding the big teams. Um, Zdravko Novacic. 300k going up to 450k. Here's our new replacement superstar wonder. He's not bad, is he? Like, he's not far. He's not a million miles off the superstar of Van Dyke. He's more of a Lovren. No, no, that's 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 rude. He's more of a Matip. Um, but I think he's going to be another. I think he's going to be an absolute superstar. Two hundred twenty-one caps. Um, 300k. It's a lot of money, but it's worth it. And then right at the death. I, f I was just looking at centre backs because we sort of a little bit low on centre backs. I found this kid, Marco Rosenthal. Right, we've only got him in on loan. He's only he's eighteen years old. They haven't given him a permanent contract. I can actually approach him, but he, he doesn't want to join. So I'm going to win his heart. Um, I'm amazed they haven't given him. He's he's on five pound a week, and I don't have to pay. I don't even have to pay the five pound a week. I only have to pay zero dollars. So I was absolutely delighted. Mission is to get him in. I'm assuming as soon as we, if if let's say we win him over and offer him a contract that he's happy with, usually what happens with the big teams is then they'll offer him a contract and he'll stay. But at the moment he says he wants to continue development there. But, you know, I'm famed for my hand jobs at this point, so we might want to stay. So there is our signings. Absolutely delighted. Really good team. I think we're better than we were last year. And we're in a division below. What are we going to do? Finances is the only issue. But the board don't seem that bothered by it. They turned down 2.2 million. And, wait, look, you know, I've done my bit. I spent some of the money, when you know, and reduced the wages. I think that's, I've done my bit. I won't feel bad if the club goes bankrupt. Right, we are playing, as I said, similar system, basically, uh, moving from a 4-4-2. If it fails horribly, we'll just go back to the 4-4-2. But I just wanted to try something, mix something up, go for an unganch, because I haven't used one in FM20. That's purely the only reason why. We've got a great team. Uh, the only real weaknesses, I'd say, is maybe the Ngonch is not fantastic, but I think he'll grow into the role. And also the left back is meh. We've got that guy and we've got the youngster that we showed you. Um, the only member of the first team out at the moment is old uh, Eric Kradjlidge. Kradjli... Kradj... Kradjlidge... Cradulge, Cradulge. Say it enough times and it sounds right. Okay, that's that's a tip for you. So I've also made the youngster captain. I, I can't remember his name. I should probably remember his name. That would help. Satulo. I've made him captain. I've done everything. I've named a stand after him at this point. There's a chance. There's a chance we'll keep him. I mean, if not, we've lost two million pounds, and we'll lose him at the end of the season on a free. But what a hell of a ride it will be. Okay. <clears throat> oh, we'll, we'll have quick before we uh, kick off. Get me out of here, man. Get me out of... <laughs> Just click stuff to get out. Um, Dynamics is looking really good. They support me now because I got rid of all the upset players because they were upset because I was trying to get rid of them. Um, everything's good. <clears throat> We've got no team leaders, which is a little bit annoying. We've got support... Satulo. <laughs> I'm overly proud about that. <laughs> I've never sucked up to a player so much in my life. Normally, I'm like, if they, if anyone annoys me, it's just Carl Gerrid. But now it's like, he's that good, though. He's that good. Okay, are they like PSG or something? Easy. Easy for Vozic. <clears throat> Yeah, so if there is any creations that can translate some of the shops and stuff I was looking at, feel free. Also, if you'd like to give me a little bit of information about your country or the town, city that we're in, I'd be very much appreciated. I always like to learn because, like I said, I know very little, really, about Croatia other than Zagreb, and they've had some decent footballers. <clears throat> right, so it's blues versus blues. So if you're watching in black and white, in case you've got a black and white monitor. Um, <laughs> it's it's the slightly darker greys. We're the lighter greys. Okay. Islamovic. Gurgic. Gurgic. Go on, Gurg. Go on, Gurg. Doesn't sound right, does it? Yes! That's Marinkovic. Sasa Marinkovic to you. That's the lonely left midfielder. I'm, I'm more trying to say that so I remember. <laughs> oh, we've got palm trees. I didn't see them on Google Maps. 
Oh, I was looking in the wrong town. They probably got them up in Rudes. Makes sense. In that part, that famous Croatian palm tree plantation. Makes sense. Right, come on, boys. We, I think we're going to smash this league. I've got to be honest. I know they were terrible. They finished last season with two wins from 30 odd games, right? They were like horrific. They weren't even close to staying up. But we've improved as a side. Ah, oh, so, oh, man of the match performance for that centre back. Go on, get him. Get him, Verge. I'm just calling him Verge at this point. I can't. You might get upset by that. <clears throat> Islamovic. Back post. Sotulo. Lovely. Oh, he's got an assist, boys. He's got an assist. But Bogdan, the young gonch. Adam Bogdan. I'm going to call him. Adam Bogdan has got himself a goal. The 300k signing. But look at that touch from the centre back. You don't see that in the modern game. Look at Sotulo. Calm as you like. Just lays it off. Doesn't even need to take a touch, old boggers. Straight in. And we're 2-0 up. These, this, to be fair, this could be the shittiest team in the league. I have no idea. But we'll take it, boys. We'll take it. <clears throat> ooh, ooh. We'll have a quick look after this game to see how uh, Traff are getting along. Look at this run. Oh, got all excited, didn't he? Good win. Beerus. Islamovic. Gurgic. Gurgic, the right midfielder. That's a good saying from the planet Holf. <laughs> Nerd. Right. Come on, boys. I want him to score from the corner. Gurgic on his weaker foot. Solid clearance. But we are 2 0 up. It's looking good. Excellent stuff. Who's complacent? The left back. All right. Well, it's just lucky I haven't got any other left backs on the bench, then, isn't it? All right. Um, let's just not jump to changes. Let's. Uh, no, everybody's pretty fit, so we'll send them out again, boys. Same difference. A little bit. I haven't created any clear cut chances. Um, let's just give them praise, though. But a clean sheet. 2-0 victory. Go on. Go on. Who's that? Is this allowed? Up to the... I can't even remember his name. Sotulo. <clears throat> Was it off? Oh. The lines are so close. They're flickering. I don't know how the ref spotted that. Jesus. More praise. More praise. Sotulo. Look at that. 7.2. That's what he does. That's what he does. All right, Mankovic. So this is a, a Drazen Aralika. Is a is a decent youngster. Good physicals. Lacks a bit of technical ability, but another one that's only twenty one years old. Oh, I'm I'm very excited about this team, boys. I think this team could be the one that we get promoted and then a couple of years start challenging for like European European. Yeah, I've said it. I've said it. European football. I, I know I'm saying this after like 75 minutes of a game. <laughs> but I was delighted with the, my transfer business. It took a few hours. But I got some good deals. I think. <clears throat> there it is. Come on, boys. 7.4. Oh, that's It's always nice to see when a player gets man of the match and he didn't get any goals and assists. He just played well. Excellent stuff, boys. Excellent stuff. See, if he, if Satulo sees us just smashing teams, and he'll go, okay, well, in a year's time, we'll be back up. <clears throat> um, eighty-three percent. This is all right. Right, let's head over to Norway. When are we? August. Okay. Do, 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 do. okay, they're still hanging on in there. They've dropped a little bit. But they're only four points off the top. They're in, there's a big playoff zone. So they're eight points clear of the playoffs. Who's their manager? Tommy Nass. Big Tommy Nass. Excellent stuff. He's getting paid, he's getting paid 400 quid more than I was. 
oh, I feel that's very shit. He's actually worse than me. Which is the first time I've seen somebody worse than me that's actually got a job. Which he went from follow. Okay. But good to see him doing well. Did you have you done any business, mate? Done any don't sell my good ones. What? He let him go on free. The great white hope. <laughs> oh, how things turn for him. What a weird career. Because the trouble is he's unambitious as well. So having bad facilities and he's ambit unambitious. It's not a good look. But he's gone to a decent... The, it's the second team. But that's at least they're professional and stuff. So that's not bad. <clears throat> and they've signed... Cash oh, that's the goalkeeper. I was going to say, what am I trying to sign him? So he's come in. He's played one game. One clean sheet. Fucking genius. Looks like a young Bruce Grobbler. Right. There we go, my friends. Let me know. What you reckon? What you reckon? Gonna win the league, are we? Yeah? We're favourites. Gonna win. We're gonna smash this. Smash this league. I'm confident. And I'd like you to put in the comments if we're gonna keep. If I'm gonna be able to sign a new contract with Zatulo. He's just currently only wanted. It's less teams. Right? He's only wanted by four teams now. So that's good. Will I be able to keep him and give him a new contract? Let me know in the comments below. I'm going to say yes. You've got to be optimistic. You've got to believe. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.